Don't need that chunk. Stay low. All right, uh, guys, we're back at this uh, base here to try and grab this uh, weapon. Uh, I did a video coming over here showing you how to, I think I did a free roam on it, uh, how to grab this base, <laughs> uh, get the supply helicopter that was here. Uh, so, Chris, we already got that. That's gone, but I had to come back now to get this weapon case. So. I got one who need that soldier. Oh, so I figured the heck with it. I'll come back here and see if I can't, uh, you know, give her another go and see if we can't do this, uh, take this base over the way we should be able to take it over. Right by that stack of tires. Got another tango. Tango number three. So one on that tower. Sniper, top of the tower. Oh, this tower. Sniper up in the tower. Switch to our sniper rifle, and uh, let's get that uh, get the drone out. Take the drone Jenny out. The Jenny's over here. Okay, so remember last time I overshot on this guy, went above his head. Ah, God, of course. Well, the hornet's nest. Ah. <laughs> hit the railing, man. If you aimed to hit that railing, you would have missed. Unbelievable. Guess this ain't gonna go down the way it should have went down. Well, see, we'll just sit still and wait. Uh, I can't believe it hit that railing. No, that is just unbelievable. Alright, so we got three buddies coming in here, so we'll have my guys take them out. I'm moving to position. Let me find a good position. Copy that. Moving. Target marked. I've got the target. Ready to engage. I'm engaging tangles. Kill confirmed. Sigan in nuestro The idea of taking the base down, of course, is not to get detected. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm just surprised that I hit that railing and standing there to hit that railing. Unbelievable. Boy, they're just going to keep running at me here, so. <laughs> Maybe this ain't too bad of a way to. Deal with them as long as you don't get detected. Oh, you sucker. I think we got just about everybody except for the last two there, the sniper and that other guy, so. Yeah, I'll go back to the. Helicopter inbound. It's 200, eh? <laughs> the top tick is supposed to be about a hundred, but you know, if I always, if I would ever take my own advice, then uh, I'd probably do a lot better. I mean, really, with the sniper rifle to figure out the ranging on it or the markings, the best bet would be is to go, uh, you know, find a 
out in kind of the middle of nowhere, find a building, you know, doesn't have any bad guys around, and then just start shooting that building. Uh, I think the Binox give you... Uh, well, at least they thought they did. Okay, maybe they don't. I don't think it's something else. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. Down at the bottom of the Binox there, it gives you distance, right? So you can where the binoculars are looking so you find a building and you know walk back a hundred meters and see line your sight up on that like for instance if, we, if that was to say a hundred meters uh come here mine knocks off go back to our sniper rifle here right so if you knew that container was exactly 100 meters away from you right of course you know shoot at a spot on it see where your bullet goes and then you can figure out the marks. Now this one, I know that the bottom mark is about 500 meters. And the one above it is 4 and 3. But when you get to the 2 and the 1, you can see like at 150, the, the top one is uh, was 100 meters. Well, at 150, you should have to have the top one above his head. But if you do that, you overshoot them. Even when they're at like 200. Uh, a lot of times when you have the top one above their head, it overshoots them. So and I never really actually I just I just figured it out for the bottom one and then counted up. So all I'm saying if you uh, to be smart about it to just go to a building out in the middle of nowhere where no bad guys are around and uh, you know basically sight it in. Like I said, you can use the binocular to get your, your distance, and then you can uh, figure out the markings. Uh, now, with saying that, uh, I just picked up this Clear. other scope. I... So I might as well show that to you here. So we'll go to our guns, we'll go here, and you'll see... Uh, we go down to scopes. And you'll see, so this is the one I'm using, this one I'm used to using right now. I think this is a better one, but of course it's still locked. I haven't found it yet. But as you can see, if we come down to the PKS-07, if you look at the stats, you can see how much more it dumps the accuracy up and also the range. All right, so it it's, uh, gives you a little more there, but... You guys holding up? Uh, sorry, wrong gun. After <laughs> the sniper rifle. But that's the, the sights in it, okay? So you get a little better view, but now that means I'd have to go somewhere and try and recite this because I have no idea uh, what uh, what the marks stand for on that gun. Uh -oh. I did, I thought everybody was going... That was bad. Yeah, here we go. Now we got reinforcements coming. All right, go back to that. Go back to the sniper or the scope. Sorry. Uh, how far is this? This is uh, 202. Well, let's see. All right, 202 on the bottom there. Take it out. S rifle. So 202. So let's try off the top V. See what happens. Yeah, it was pretty close, but it was a tad, a tad low, right? So, I'm not sure where that one went. There we go. So, 200, you can kind of see that uh, for a 200 uh, yard shot, you got to be uh, around there. Yeah, see? You got to have that just below it. The drawback to it is like, a, and I don't like that even though you get a better vis and stuff. It's hard to find the right spot. Right. Okay. So, I definitely prefer using the other scope even though it's a little less on the handling and stuff. But it's just because it's easier to... Uh, Uh, it's easier to line up, right? Because you got way more ticks on it. Uh. So we're just going to try and zip over here and grab this and get the hell out of here. Seeing how they're starting to send reinforcements now. 
And I'm on all two for Hold Unidad. Up. Weapons case here. So nice. It's gonna start getting pretty tough here real soon if I don't get out of here. Getting a position. Target marked. I need to get to a better position. Moving to a better position. Target acquired. Good to go. Engaging Tango's. Got him. He's down. Jesus. It's unbelievable how you can <laughs> shoot right beside the guy or shoot all around him but not hit where the guy is, right? See, they're just going to keep sending and sending and sending. And they're just going to start getting... You know, pretty soon I'll be on three. Once I hit three, I think that's when they start sending two helicopters. And as soon as you kill one, they do another one's there. So, we just got to get the hell out of here. You know, of course, and I'm, I'm being stupid because I'm trying to mark these supplies. And I shouldn't be. I should just be, yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm moving to position. Wait one, let me get in position. Target okay. switching target, standing by. Target marked. Say the word, boss. Tango down. So, as soon as he killed three guys, they're sending in another car, which brings in another five. Alright, I'm just gonna mark this. Get the hell out of here. I shouldn't even be marking this. Oh, we got some information over here. Let's grab that wall. Chopper we're here. incoming. <laughs> oh, I'm just being crazy. So, oh, they're sending helicopters now. I might not be able to get out of here now. All right, so this is. Uh, El reporte indica que no hay signos del enemigo. Los rebeldes se retiraron. That's close. Los soldados enemigos rompieron contacto y se retiraron. Oh, unit dad lost. Okay, we got lucky there. Usually when you're in a base and they're in it, you don't get away with that one. We got a chopper coming in. Grab some ammo and let's just get the hell out of Dodge. So I guess it's daytime now, isn't it? <laughs> See if I can get back up to my helicopter. I think we're all clear now. We got tangos, danger close. Hmm, I might not be able to get back up to her. Yeah. Not getting back up to it this okay. way anyways. not be able to get back to it. I know it's up there, huh? Hang back before they spot you. I'm not gonna get to it that way neither. If you look at the the way the train goes there. Uh, up there on that, that peak. She's up there. I don't think there's any way to climb up there. Oh well. Uh, rather than alerting them guys and you know have the Unidad back on me, uh, I could just use the fast travel and uh, go back to the safe house. That's probably going to be the only way of getting out of here. See, this is the way we come in is right here, but it's not going to let us climb that little piece. All right, so like I said, just going to use fast travel to get out of there. Um, 
Well, there's a document around in there. Maybe you should try and get that too. <laughs> but anyways, I got done what I wanted to show. Uh, so I'm just gonna see uh, Wildcat out for now. We'll see you guys in the next. I uh, will see you guys in the next video.